There's a company that created a permanent stain on Ark Survival Ascended, a game that artists and devs put thousands of hours in work into and that launched yesterday as of recording this video. This company that tarnished their work and cares only about the profit motive is the perfect embodiment of greed, cold hard greed. The company in question, Nitrato, also known as Marbus, is blocking players on ASA from hosting their servers without paying up if they want to have any chance at having a large community. They deliberately used vague language to deceive players and release the conditions of the agreement and of what it's going to mean to host servers only one day after launch. This was deliberate, it was coordinated, it was premeditated, it was intentional. They don't care about the devs that poured blood, sweat, and tears into this beautiful product. They don't care for the artists that upscaled and remodeled countless assets. They look at ARC and they see profit. That's it. They see product. They see nothing but money. And so in this video, I'm outlining my conditions for the next week, and if they do not follow through on these and fix their mistakes, myself and others are gone. So here's the single condition that I have. All you need to do, Nitrata, is to reverse the decision that you just posted today about the conditions of what it's gonna mean for anyone hosting ARC servers off their machines or in warehouses with services like OVH Cloud, for example. So let's go through that just to make sure everyone understands what's going on. The main part is here. So this article was released today, 10-26-2023, and it says this, self-hosted free use dedicated ASA server, PC Steam only. When you purchase ASA on Steam at launch, you can create one PC private server for free use, allowing you to invite friends or other community players to share experiences across the revamped ARC maps. With the Steam server, there will be limitations that you can expect, including that you'll be limited to creating a single Steam server for your Steam account, requiring authentication before starting. Also, self-hosted servers often take many steps to prepare and manage due to requiring your resources, time, and hardware. So, and then they go on to say, well, give us some money because we can surely take that burden off of you, right? By shoving our balls in your mouth and begging you to thank us. That's exactly what they're doing in this decision, and I will always stand by that. They go on to mention hosting ASA servers with a dedicated license, and they do not clarify what the difference between this and the other thing above that is, so I don't really understand. It says, you may be entitled to receive a free temporary non-commercial server license or a partnership for ASA. And I try to, we have applications in place where you can apply if you meet our minimum requirements. But what are the requirements? Answering this involves reviewing the information below. And then they go on to list ridiculous standards that most people like me who like to run gaming communities will not meet. Your average dude that just has a bunch of server racks and has some PCs that he likes to host his survival game servers on for his community, for his friends, is not going to be able to meet these requirements for something that Nitrato does not even fully elaborate on. What even is this license and what differentiates it from the thing above it? So now that hopefully you have a better picture of why this is a problem and why even though we can technically host servers and they've provided the Steam app ID for the Arc Survival Ascended dedicated server, this is more than a gut punch and means that you cannot host multiple maps and multiple servers unless you sign some kind of agreement with them, are part of their program, or upfront pay them, even though they don't really clarify that. It's vague, but it's not as vague as the language they used leading up to this launch for months, where they had time to plan all this out and decide, hmm, should we completely shaft all of our players because of money? Or should we give them the same tools that they had in the first game at launch for eight years? I think it's pretty clear which option they chose. They go on to outline their application process and how lovely they are, and, and even in fact, how great the exclusivity rights are. I mean, imagine, imagine that manufacturer for children's car seats and they design their product and they put out a press release and they're like, hey, you know, the buckles, we actually designed them to not work very well. And you know, on the flip side, your baby seat can actually double as a baby launcher out the window. Safety is great and everything, but we'll always be proud of our mistakes and advertise our product with them. That is exactly what the Burger King of server providers is doing right now. So Nitrato, maybe get your cock out of your mouth and stand up to face the community. And while you're standing up, how about you listen to some feedback? I was a partner with Nitrato about two years ago. And in that partnership, I experienced incredibly unstable servers. They would crash constantly. Support was god awful and clearly could not keep up with the 
overflowing amount of content creators, large and small, that they attempt to bridge partnerships with. I mean, they'll take anyone because that's how it is in corporate. Profit motive trumps everything. And so they will screw over their partners and the people they consider working with as much as they will screw over their customers. Their servers could not even handle the load of Survival Evolved without mods. They had no care for ensuring that content creators had extra technical support. And with all of that in mind, it comes as no surprise to me that they just deceived the entire community. Again, just to re-emphasize in case you forgot, they had months to come up with this and to tell people, but they posted it today. And speaking of those months, months ago, we got a taste of the document and the agreement that they made with Snail Games, where in exchange for about $3 million that Marbus or Nitrato gave to Snail Games, because Snail was most likely out of money, Nitrato would in return get exclusive rights over ASA for not just server providers, but now we understand fully for community player hosted servers. They control the terms and conditions and the licenses of this. And it is such a departure from the simple open server conditions for just about every single survival game from Minecraft to Seven Days to Die. This is just completely disgusting. To level with some people here, just to communicate why I'm so pissed about this. I'm a small business owner. I run Netty the Noodle. This is my channel I've had for years now. And in addition to this channel and making videos, I've also run servers since I was a kid. I've been doing ARC servers for eight years. And I taught myself how to run them, how to configure them, how to do all of that basically from scratch. That process was fun to me, at least for a time. And to see this happening and being swept under the rug, under the noses of so many players and destroying partnerships that ARC and all the companies involved bridged with so many server providers, large and small, looks like a complete betrayal. That's the only way to describe it. They've destroyed their partnerships with these companies forever. And I wanna make it very clear that the artists, the people who made the Raptors in ASA, the, the, the environment level designers, all of these amazing people that are passionate about their craft and just wanna make money doing what they love are not at fault. This is on management, this is on leadership, this is the people at the top of Nitrato, Marbus, Snail Games, even Studio Wildcard. This is their doing. This is the CEOs that have nothing in their head other than money, yachts, and ultimately their ego. As someone who has 11,000 hours in ARC, I'm passionate about the game. I love it. And I've created a lot of content around it. I'm most well known for telling the story of the game because I think it's beautiful and nothing will ever take that away, right? I appreciated it and I still appreciate it. And I appreciate the countless hours the developers have put into the ARC IP. The amazing composer who brought one of the best video game soundtracks you could possibly have to the game. And the managers and leaders that actually care about their fucking product. They are the ones who created what we know as ARC and that should be appreciated. But right now, all I can say is that I am done with this game in one week if they do not fix these terms. This is unacceptable. The monopoly was one thing, but barring server hosts, barring players from running their own servers is the most disgusting thing I've ever fucking seen in the gaming industry that at least directly involved me. It's selfish, I know. Calling out this issue specifically, it's selfish. This affects me, this affects people who do what I do. And I think whether or not you're a server host, you can see that this is a terrible decision. And for me, I'm done. I said so months ago and I'm not going back on that. It's not in my best interest. I could keep making money using ARC, especially Survival Ascended, while it's hot off the press at 23 FPS for the next couple months. But ultimately, if I'm gonna make videos about a game, a game made by people and owned by soulless fucking ghouls, then I expect at least a little bit of respect, at least a tiny bit, at least enough to know that what I am making and what I am supporting and what I am bringing possibly thousands of dollars of sales to is something that, that means more than just pure greed. But that's it. And in a week's time, it might not just be me that's leaving. In fact, I'm sure I'm not the only one who's going to be gone if you can't act and stand the fuck up. So to you, Nitrato, Marbus, Snail Games, it's your choice. You had months to figure this out, and I'm giving you a week to fix it. Since you want to apologize yourself, since it's not a language you could possibly understand, will you send your best PR rep to reverse this damage? Or will you let your greed sink the ship so you can keep playing pirate. You decide. That's it.